Hello, welcome to November 26th, 2022. Today is a Sunday. My name is Kurt. This is uh, my Good Life Meditation video, uh, an exercise that I do every morning just after waking up. It's uh, I'm a little late this morning. It's 4.42 a.m. right now um, to go over my life objectives and principles and to see how I did applying these to the challenges and opportunities encountered yesterday and to plan for today. And good morning, Parker. Well, let's see. Last night and yesterday. Slept like death last night. Man, which is a good thing. Um, I think even before my, my head hit the pillow, I was out. And then I uh, went all the way till the alarm, with the exception of one instance when uh, the neighbors next door, uh, Dante and his wife, came home late at night. Maybe I checked the clock. Maybe it was like 1.32 a.m. And... Um, They've been out having fun, the, the fun of the mid-30s, right? I mean, a young married couple, not ch no children just yet, but lots of friends. Out, uh, um, every, almost every weekend, they're doing something interesting, both Friday night and Saturday night. And uh, they, I don't think they even have a TV in their home. They just uh, have music, and they're, they're very good about it. They, they play it, but it's not loud. Um, even with the windows open, and they have um, an eclectic, interesting group of friends. Uh, they're interesting people. Uh, they drive classic cars. Dante drives a classic Mercedes, and his wife, I don't know her name, she drives a classic Volvo, and uh, they've got lots of interesting character. He looks, Dante looks just like Freddie Mercury. Anyway, so they, I heard them just as they were, as I was going down to bed, they were standing outside in, in this uh, courtyard area, uh, in front of their house there and with their friends and they were talking they were going to go have a, a bonfire on the beach um, together and uh, they, they did and they didn't come back until late early early in the morning 1 30 2 a.m and it sounded like they had a fun a fun time that was the only thing that woke me up that indicates if i had a good night's sleep that two things are going on one that i've got my stress under control at work and i do uh, largely because my projects are in a pretty good shape. I've got a couple of issues. Um, also because I feel distant and remote from them right now, being uh, two days into a four-day weekend. Um, <clears throat> stress really can't really seem to touch me. And we're going into a, a long um, stretch now between Thanksgiving and Christmas, which is also a quiet time. I, I need to take some time off. I, I promise to do that. I promised told my boss I would be doing it. I haven't given him those dates yet. I need to do that. Anyway, um, yesterday was a mix of really good and opportunities and really interesting challenges. The opportunity was that uh, um, just the opportunity to go to the damn beach twice in one day. Uh, <laughs> swim in the ocean twice and sit on the sand and read my book and get just just soak up the sun. I uh, can't tell you how much this means to me. It was the it's part of the dream of uh, California life for me is to be time at, spend time at the beach and um, I thought that living in Irvine would be close enough. It wasn't. It's about a it's about a 15 minute car ride down Laguna. Canyon, even living in where we, where we did at Center Point near the Irvine Spectrum, which is right at the edge of Laguna Canyon. I, I didn't go but to the beach maybe three times, four times a year. There's kind of a sweet spot within range, and I'm in that sweet spot now. I'm, I'm, I'm a mile and a half from the beach now, I'm not right on it, uh, but this is plenty fine. In fact, where we are right now kind of adds to it because I hop on my motorcycle and motor, I've got a little motorway down. Through the, through the streets, I kind of I get to get be out there and mingle and um, um, fraternize with the with the local community on my motorcycle. I bec I become one of the characters, one of the many many characters that Huntington Beach seems to uh, produce or draw draw in my case, and I fit right in, riding down the riding down the streets in November with. Uh, Nothing but a swimsuit on and a, and a beach towel around my neck and a helmet on and my boots um, and my riding gloves. Uh, in Laguna, that was a sight. Anywhere else, that was a sight. Here, hey, it's a local. I like that. 
plus I, I really um, walked the dog yesterday. I had some good was good walking walking opportunities. I was telling you, Nico, I really like I really like the way that excuse me a second. I really like the way that the days are unfolding when uh, without work. You know, getting up early, making this video. Uh, getting a chance to spend time with the dogs, long leisurely walks while I'm reading my book, the dogs are sniffing, um, and then uh, come back and answer co comments on YouTube and social media, and then uh, upload, do my first blog post in the morning, um, then do whatever the hell I want until noonish lunch, um, have lunch where I want, or do what I want. Uh, if Miko's available, we'll have lunch together. Uh, yesterday, she was. Uh, uh, taking care of stuff, and uh, I was out doing. I was going to do some uh, shopping for some uh, birthdays, and um, I was out and I went out and had lunch on my own at Duke's Burger here in Huntington Beach, which was fun just to be out and about on the bike again. Anyway, I just go on and on. I just can't get over this life. I know it won't last. It'll fade. It'll, it'll, um, it'll become uh, sober once again. I'm in the giddy stage right now, the honeymoon stage. But it won't be the same as any place else because I'll always have this beach right there. And I've always been one to avail myself of the beach. That was true in, Hunt in Santa Barbara where I did live close enough to go frequently and I did go uh, daily for over a year and didn't miss a single day and swam every day. So I, I've got it in me uh, to do. And of course that was the case in Moonstone Beach in Humboldt County. Now, as for the challenges yesterday, I did have a challenging one. Got me by surprise. I do get ambushed. In fact, those are the ones that I'm most vulnerable to are the ambush moments. And we went out to dinner. Now, Chris and Emily had been over the night before to celebrate Thanksgiving with us. We had a nice uh, Japanese-style Thanksgiving feast, if such a thing exists, and it does. It was good. It was best. In fact, it was one of the best evening meals and parties Ever, I even remarked to him, to Yumiko, after the fact that that was one of the best parties I'd ever been to, in terms of food and timing and energy and socializing and and talk and everything. Really nice. I need I need to remind her about that this morning because Yumiko and I had a had a nice talk about what happened last night on the way home, and I need to to to, to tell her what a contrast that was to the night before Thanksgiving because we had another party last night. Yesterday was Emily's birthday. Happy happy uh, 22nd birthday, Emily. Can't believe you're 22. And she was stealing my beer last night. I bought a little bottle of <clears throat> a little bottle of Asahi at the restaurant. It was good. Anyway, but <clears throat> we went to to San Clemente, which is uh, to a favorite sushi restaurant that we like right there by uh, Right, but very close to the uh, outlets there, down, down, down the below the hill, just across the street from the post office, next to Denny's. There's a really in a little shopping center there. I can't remember the name of the place, but we go there for sushi. Anyway, as soon as we got there, I just kind of shut down. Remember, I'm almost fifty-nine, not a spring chicken anymore, and uh, I just clammed up. I had nothing to say. I wasn't in a bad mood and I didn't behave badly. I was just quiet, which stands out because I'm normally not obviously quiet. In fact, I didn't really realize until last night just how responsible I am for, uh, for the dialogue at, uh, at such events as family events. Um, So what happened was we ordered the food and it was a good meal. It was a terrific meal. <sighs> but I was, I kind of quickly devolved. I, I, I first, I, I didn't have anything to say because I was tired. That's what it was. And two things happened. Two things. One was I was tired. I had gone to the beach twice, swam twice. Plus I'd walked the dogs more than 10 miles over two long walks in the course of the day. The dogs were tired, dude. You can see they're not even around me right now. They're still beat tired. Rudy's over there, passed out. They're still recovering from those long walks. It was just, you know, we just we just went for it. Just the, I was exhausted. The second thing was, I'd spent all my fuel. 
the uh, night before at the Thanksgiving dinner, same four, same four group, same group of four. I told Yumiko afterwards as we were driving home from San Clemente. I said, because she asked me what's, as soon as we got in the car, she said, "What's up?" You know, she she, she knows everything. And I told her, I said, I, I had nothing to say. You know, we'd, we'd talked about all the subjects the night before that we could possibly talk about. We'd caught up on everything. And I was just dead tired. I couldn't think of anything new to say. So I just sat there and quietly. And uh, after Emily, Emily stole part of my beer, I drank the rest of it. And then I just sat there and nursed a, a cup of tea. And I realized that I was coming across kind of sullen. Sol, sol, is that the right word? So, maybe even sulky. I wasn't. I smiled and I had light in my eyes, the light of, of, of uh, friendship, com camaraderie. But I just didn't have any energy. I just didn't have anything to say. Now Emily didn't seem to notice, really. I'm sure she did, but she went on her merry way because she was quite focused on the delicious food. Chris, I know, noticed um, because he and I usually talk, but I had nothing to talk about. So the first thing this morning when I got up was I composed a, a message to, to them, to the three of them, and apologized for, of course, I cleared up all of the Amigo in the car on the way home, and I apologized to them for being sulky, seemingly sulky, and explained to them that I was, I had worn myself out, which is true. Excuse me, I didn't say anything about the fact that I had nothing to say, that there were no topics left to touch, but... We talked about Elon Musk. We talked about the Emily and Chris's futures. We talked about the new community that we're living in. We talked about plans for the for the holidays. We talked about internships, opportunities, um, uh, and uh, the latest news. Uh, I think Chris and I even had some talk about philosophy the night before. We were just just spent. Okay, at at the risk of sounding crude. Okay especially given that it's my family. It's like, it's like, it was like, okay, I'll just say it. It's like trying to have sex immediately after having sex, right? As good as it was. And as, no, as much as you know you'd like to do it again, sometimes you're just not up, literally up to it. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Okay. Good Lord. Let's do the good life. Now I'm going to go fast and do the, the, the lightning round this morning because, um, I'm doing a book reading in about um, two hours. I'll go down to the beach and do the book, the, my, my book reading. Why not? So um, anyway, uh, let's get started. Seven objectives as follows. Be always ready to die. Make good and effective use of time. Develop and maintain good and sound life principles. Cultivate good emotional reactions. Perform good actions, recognize true limits and true opportunity, and do just one thing at a time, and do that thing slowly and deliberately and carefully. Now my 32 principles. War, reason, homunculus, anchor hold, home of good and evil, purpose, atomic principle, nature, pirate ride, maturity, social principle, public speaking, distraction, agency, and the great indifference, temperance, life will not go well, the feast of awful, no, no, horror show, that which must be born, the feast of awful, the best seat in the house, the restless man, the path of wildness, the great life adventure, the risk of avoiding risk, sin and damnation, complete oblivion, bullseye aim, uphill climb, arena and utility. Nothing is enough. And the principle of fun. I felt like I got them all. Did I do the season of philosophy? The season of philosophy. That's the one that kind of slips out the cracks sometimes. As for now and today, let's begin the day. I'm going to uh, finish this, finish my coffee, upload, the, uh, upload this. I'll read my Bible and then I'll uh, feed the dogs, walk the dogs, um, and then I'll prepare and get to the beach and do my, my reading. I wish you all the best. Let's, let's all have a good day. Remember to be safe, but not too safe. Take care.